Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working guys on a Ford Focus MK3. This is guys the generation Ford Focus from year 2012 to year 2019. Now, if you want to find out how to remove or replace the active grill shutter guys, this is on the front of the radiator. Stay with us, we'll explain how to do that today. Now, there are three ways to do that and we're going to explain each one of them. Stay with us, I'm going to discuss a little bit of information with you. Quick introduction, every car we get at the shop, including a Ford Focus guys, we have at least 200 videos. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to our channel and like the video. Hopefully guys, you will find the information helpful. Now, another thing guys, if you want to buy any spare parts, any, any parts to fix your car or tools, check out the link in the description of the video below guys. You can find them for a super good price. Let me show you guys, let me explain what you can do now. As I said, okay, there are three different ways to do that. How you can do that. One is to go from underneath the vehicle. We'll have to remove the bottom engine cover. Stay with us, we'll show you how to do that. Once you do that, guys, you can access it from kind of underneath. But uh, it's a little bit complicated. What do you have to do? You have to remove the lower, guys. Okay, the lower radiator support. Go ahead, remove the lower radiator support, push it back, and then you have to disconnect it and get it out. Now, if you have problems and it doesn't come out because it's limited room or stuck, guys, you have two more options. One is to remove the front bumper, guys, and we have the video on the channel. Or the second one is to remove the whole assembly. That's what we did. But this thing, okay, is more costly. Why? You have to drain the coolant and refill the coolant. You have to, uh, you have to guys, uh, bleed the cooling system. But if your coolant hasn't been flushed, your radiator hasn't been flushed, I would recommend guys to do that. And second, you have to drain your AC compressor, AC system, and later you will need to recharge it. So that's more expensive as well. But stay with us guys, what we'll do, we'll show you how to remove the lower radiator support. You can pull it down a little bit and you can try to disconnect it. What we'll do, okay, we'll go ahead, remove all the radiators guys. So I can show you from start to finish what we're doing because we'll do, uh, we'll actually be replacing the AC condenser answer as well and we'll show you guys how to disconnect it and all that with everything out of the car so stay with us and let's start on it now so we need a torque sturdy guys okay torque sturdy start looking bit okay and we're going to go ahead and start uh, removing screws underneath okay you can see one two then we have uh, one more in the other corner there okay two screws uh, three screws so far guys now we have more that we need to remove we're going to start from the passenger side now one two three on the front three in the rear three in the front guys so now okay let's explain now you grab it and you pull it forward pull it forward and drop it down you can see just like that and this is guys your engine here and we just we just found out that we have an oil leak from the uh, from the rear crankshaft seal right there so we'll have a video how to fix that one as well you should have two more guys in the corners one there and one on the other side but two are missing Ours are missing and the screws what they look like okay just like this one so you can see you can get an idea what it looks like now and that's where your oil filter is located and bottom of the engine as well so now how you guys remove the other cover okay you're supposed to have a clip removal too guys and you're supposed to have two clips now those two clips will be right there one there one in the corner ours are completely missing guys we don't have them and so we need to start removing screws. You can see on the other side, okay, in front of the wheel, we have two of them, okay, that we need to remove. And uh, once we remove these two, we come towards the middle. Okay, everything's very muddy on that engine. Let's do these two towards the wheel. Perfect, now. We just have, I think, one more. You might have dust and sand stuck there, so be careful, guys. Always wear eye protection as well. Grab it now, guys, okay, and you pull that cover down. 
Okay, just like that. And now that's where your radiators are, the active grill as well, radiator fan, all that is here and that's the lower radiator support and uh, the drain plug for the radiators as well. So you can see that's how we remove the engine covers. Okay, so now guys, what do we have here? Okay, we have a few clips that we need to disconnect. Okay, this is for the... Uh, I think one is for the active grill shutter, we'll see. So just pull them out of the radiator support. Okay, almost came out. Perfect, this one is out guys. Now we need to disconnect it from there as well. Okay, on the inside you can see, almost out. And now we have the one on top there that we need to disconnect. Perfect. Underneath we have the bolts for the lower radiator support now. 10 millimeter socket. And we're going to remove a few bolts, but we need to get uh, a ratchet or extension, guys. A new battery for the impact because it's a little bit cold in the shop and it died. Okay, those things are extremely tight, by the way. Okay, we got a little bit longer extension that way. Okay, we can have a little bit more okay, reach because it's not as easy to uh, reach the upper bolts okay, for that lower radiator support. We got them loose. We'll try to use the impact now and see what's going to happen, if it's going to uh, help some. You can see where all the bolts are, they have a little bit of rust, that's what the bolt looks like. Second one. Okay, now guys, uh, same thing, okay, like what we did here, we need to do to the other side. So I'm going to switch places now. Okay, give me a second, and I'll go to, to the passenger side of the vehicle. passenger side let's remove a few things here so you can see okay right there so one of them is missing here oh no no it's on the back or oh, it's missing I no no it's good it's good it's towards the back I cannot just see it from that angle here so two bolts on each side Perfect. Now, gently guys, pull that thing out of the radiator on the bottom. Okay, one is out. Now on the other side, same thing. Okay, perfect. And the lower radiator support guys came out of the way. Okay, just like that, you can see. So how you guys disconnect the active grill shutter from the radiator is pretty simple right there underneath. Let's lift it up a little bit so I can show you there is one tooth guys. Okay, one tooth that you need to press in with a screwdriver and when you press it in, okay, what you're going to do? Okay, you're going to lift it up. So I think this can be done in the vehicle guys. I don't know if you have enough room on top, but I think you will. Same thing applies, okay, to this side, now right here. This is where the tooth is, okay, and 
you can see actually it came out pretty easy not as complicated as i thought it would be so this is guys the active grill shutter that's how you remove it uh, hopefully the video will be helpful guys to any of you having to do that thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time if you want to purchase one i forgot to mention we have the link in the description of the video below